it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button because you'll find new DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration here every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Now I'm sure you found me because of Dollar Tree DIYs and I definitely do lots of those and I still have lots more of those planned and coming up, especially for the Christmas holiday season. However, I find inspiration in so many different places and Hobby Lobby has so many cute supplies right now. I grabbed lots of those to bring you four very inexpensive farmhouse style Christmas decor pieces today. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's get started and jump right into our first project. This one's really, really simple and so cute. I found this little gnome in the ornament section. So he's not in the decor section. He's actually over by the Christmas trees. And I believe Hobby Lobby's Christmas decor is now 50% off. So he is normally $6.99 and at half off he would only be $3.50. So that's a pretty good bargain. I also have this mason jar and this was only $1.49. So what we're going to do is actually attach him onto the top of this jar here. So not only does it look like he has a body, but it'll also give him a little base to sit on shelves or on side tables, different places like that. And then you also kind of have a hidden space to put candy or little gifts you could put in there and give these away. Um, really super cute sort of office gift or friend gift or neighbor gift. But I'm going to update this a little bit. I'm going to paint the jar white so you can't see through it. And also the lid because I don't really, I'm not a fan of the gold on top of there. And then we're just going to hot glue him on top and he'll be all done. And now for this next project, we're going to make a really cute buffalo check little mini Christmas tree. I feel like if you made several of these or even two of these, they would look so cute together, grouped together, or if you flanked something and put something in the middle. But I'm just going to make one today. I have this little mini tree from Hobby Lobby. It's normally only $4.99, but half off it was $2.50, and that is just crazy. Um, I also have a set of these picks. They have these cute little buffalo check balls, a really rustic looking jingle bell, and then some pine cones on there. That was $2.99, half off, it's $1.50. This buffalo check is from their fabric section. I only got a half a yard and it was 30% off. So I ended up only paying $2.09 for all of that, which is another crazy good deal. The other supplies I have are my hot glue and glue gun, some jute, scissors, and then these are needle nose pliers, but I'm going to use the little cutters that are in there, so some kind of wire cutters so we can cut these apart. But the first thing I want to do is cut my fabric and use it to wrap the bottom with. I'm going to leave the jute or the burlap on there because I think it'll look really cute with a layered effect. And then that'll give it that buffalo check splash of pattern on the bottom. 
And then for these, I'm gonna cut all of these apart and just hot glue them onto the tree. And on to our third project. We're gonna make a cute farmhouse style mini wreath. And for that, I'm gonna be using this really cute, it's almost like a Raydon style ornament from Hobby Lobby. This was $2.99, so $1.50 half off. The mini wreaths actually come in a set of two. And these are not in the Christmas. These are $2.99, so actually $1.50 per wreath at regular price. But you could use your 40% off coupon on that too. I have another one of the picks with the buffalo check and the jingle bell on it. Like I said, that was $1.50. I also have some of my burlap ribbon that I have on hand already from Dollar Tree, so that's a good bargain as always. And then I have my jute wire cutters, scissors, and hot glue out again. And what I plan to do is to hang my little ornament down inside the wreath using some jute to secure it at the top. And then I'm gonna use my ribbon and my pick here to create a bow at the top and a couple little accents of the picks in there to give it that buffalo check little accent and pattern. All right, so I felt like this wreath needed some greenery, so I have little pieces off of a wreath that I already had downstairs in my Christmas stash, and I just cut them off. And they're actually from a Walmart wreath, so if you're interested in that, I just snipped those off. I'm gonna glue those on here, going down the sides, and then I'll kind of bunch in some of these extra little details. Last project is another really, really simple one and Hobby Lobby's made it really, really easy for us. I have this beaded garland, normally $14.99, so $7.50 at half off. And then I also have my Buffalo Check fabric again, which was, like I said, only $2 for half a yard. And they have already painted these white. If you wanted, you could paint the other ones different colors if you'd like. I like the, how neutral it is. 
So what I'm gonna do is just tear some strips of this fabric apart and tie them onto the garland to give it more of that farmhouse buffalo check look. Alright, so let me show you what I've done here. So I've used the piece that I've cut out. So you really could probably get away with doing just a quarter of a yard of fabric if you just wanted to you know, and then it would honestly only be a dollar if you just bought a quarter of a yard of this. Uh, and what I did is just cut slits about every inch and a half along um, this section here, and then I'm just gonna rip them out so they have more of a tattered look. And that's all there is to it. I ended up using 13 of these little strips. And I didn't do a pattern. I didn't want it to look too uniform. So some I did, you know, four beads, some I did five, some I did six. And that way it just looks a little bit more rustic that way. And now this is all done and we can go hang it up and decorate with it. Thank you all so much for joining me for today's tutorial. Please give this video a thumbs up for me and let me know down in the comments below which one of these four projects was your favorite. If you're not already, please hit that subscribe button. I have more great DIY tutorials below that. And you can find me on Facebook and on Instagram. I'll have those linked down in the description box below. Thanks so much again and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.